Hello, everybody. It's artist Ruben Chato in San Diego, California, uh, giving you a description of my latest painting, which is wood panel. It's an acrylic on the wood panel. And this is Lieutenant Garn, who is retiring. He uh, served in our military and then also federal law enforcement and uh, big service to our country. So what I did is I put the flag behind him. And the nice thing about wood panel, which is the only thing I work on, is I was able to do the gesso in the background and gave me these fine lines and when I added the colors it's kind of just by able just by watering down some of the colors um, it gave me these really nice effects which is classic to my style and it gave me the nice folds on the in, the in the actual flag and this just turned out really nice so when he was over at 13 um, this is where I started it off on the upper left hand part of the uh, painting and I put the classic 9533 uh, Warfare Insignia pin, uh, which was later replaced in the mid-90s by the Swick pin, um, which is completely different. But that's not his era, so sticking to the storyboard, I put the good old PB in here in classic fashion. I have it coming, like, going off the painting that was uh, what I wanted to accomplish. And I did a really nice wave on it and did some really nice little details on there. Um, with the 50s and you know put the, the coxswain and the navigator and everybody as much as I could in there not to take too much away from the actual PB itself. It was also used in the Gulf War and, and a lot of other conflicts. It was later replaced, uh, everything was replaced in the, in the 90s. Getting back down to the painting, here's the Sea Fox which was also classic in the 80s and the 90s. And this was used at his command when he was EOIC at Special Boat Unit 12 uh, for the Sea Foxes. He was also an OIC over at 13. But the C, uh, Special Boat Unit 12 was his first command. And what I did with the Sea Foxes, I gave it a really classic wave because they're known for that. And with uh, once again, with the uh, gesso, the way I pulled it in the background, it gave me a very interesting um, effects with the water. I was able to pull it. Same with the wave and it just worked out really well i was really impressed with the way everything turned out and the flow of the painting was very very interesting and what i did down here is i put the classic four amigos uh, what a motley crew yeah i know some of these guys uh, <laughs> so we'll start over here with tom 13 we have robin 13 and brian 13 and here's the lt and so what I did is, uh, I wanted to, they've been going in and out of the water, they're sitting on the old seafood platform, which is a big inflatable uh, pontoon looking device, I won't get into all the descriptions, but they're going in and out of the water, so what I did is I pulled the acrylic, and with these fine lines that I did with the gesso, it was able to just make it very interesting, I didn't want to get too much detail here, not to take away from the other parts of the painting, I just focused a little bit on, from their torsos up. And the rest, I just gave it that water effect as it pulls down and away from the painting, which um, I got the effects I wanted. And as an artist, you want to do that. I mean, you know, if somebody wants a picture, you just give them a copy of the picture. But in art, you give it your own interpretation, and that's what makes it a, a that's what makes it unique. That's what makes it a piece of art. And on the left here, I put the uh, Combatant Craft Crewmen Association logo which is uh you know this is our motto on time on target never quit and i want to say thank you to the brothers who all pitched in to make this possible so we can make this painting uh so i could make this painting for um for the lt which we're going to present to him uh this friday uh for his retirement it's a surprise and it will be you know you'll be seeing this posted but another thing about the painting is i did use about four different cool colors and you know the arrays of colors worked out really well in the abstract style and the intention the intentional diagonals that i use in the background with the brush stroke with the gesso just gave me that water effect that i wanted and it worked out really nice and i'm really happy with this painting the blue the yellows and the greens that i used the combinations for the background flowed really nicely it just kind of tied into the camouflage greens that i was going to use and the blues really worked in with the water and obviously with the grays it just made it really pop out it's a very interesting painting i'm really proud of it and i'm sure phil's gonna really uh, love this and 
Anyway, guys, I just wanted to touch bases, and as always, I give a brief description of all my artwork. Uh, I keep a record, and this is uh, 20 inches by 28, and it is on a hardwood panel, and it is an acrylic, and this is for uh, Lieutenant Phil Garn for his retirement, for his uh, years of service to our country and to uh, law enforcement. And here you go, brothers. Anyway, Chato.com is my website. Ruben Chato saying uh, from San Diego, California. Here we go, everybody. Go get wet. <laughs> what a motley crew. I know some of those guys. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, we'll talk to you later.